Hi guys, welcome to this session. I'm Rahul from Team Cloudy ML, and today we are going to discuss how to become a data scientist in four months. So let's get started. I would like to ask you one quiz since you are into data science. Tell me why Python is famous for data science. Comment below the correct option and I will answer this quiz at the end of the session. Now let's discuss skills required to become a data scientist. Let's say you are from non-IT background and you don't know anything about data science and scientists and these skills and how much time you need to spend. As my experience, uh, I can tell you like if you are studying Python, I have personally done this. You need at least 15 days to know the basics of Python, the core topics of Python, which is uh, variable assignment, data structures, looping in Python, and some basic understanding of classes, which is necessary either to become go for web development and for data science. Next thing is probability and statistic is very much useful in data science. Since you are working on charts, plots, and different kinds of uh, understanding from the plots. So you need programming skills to plot that chart and uh, statistical information and uh, probability knowledge to derive insights from it. Next thing is, and you don't need to go separately for this, but I will suggest you a book if you would like to. Let's say you are from uh, arts background and you are coming to data science. So you must have probably forgotten the knowledge of probability, maths, and statistics. So it's okay. I will suggest a book for that also. But if you uh, have uh, studied these topics in your high school, that's sufficient. Besides that, if there are some topics related to it, you can Google about it. You don't need to go separately for this. That's why I have written this simultaneously since I didn't spend uh, separately time on this. Next thing is Python libraries for data science. These libraries are very much important. This is the foundation for data science uh, and in a Python programming topic. So you can give 10 days, for example, libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Seaborn. So these 10 days are sufficient for this to get the hands-on practice on this. With time, you will develop enough uh, knowledge on this so that you can work on data set freely. Next thing is machine learning. It is the core topic for data science, especially for data scientists. So you can spend 20 to 30 days on getting the fundamentals of machine learning and how to implement those topics on a particular data set to develop model on it using Python libraries. So 20 to 30 days in, in this period of time, you can, you can either uh, go first by learning about those topics or you can go through projects. Directly going through projects, projects can help you get the understanding of the theoretical aspect also and practical aspect also. Or you can choose another way by going through first uh, theoretical aspect and then going on some projects to get hands on, on on it. Next thing is deep learning. Why deep learning is important? It doesn't matter if you, if the industry you are going into or the company you are joining, use it or not. Nowadays, companies prefer people who know deep learning, whether they are going to use it or not, that doesn't matter. They want a guy who knows this part also so that if in case they will have to use deep learning, they won't have to find another person for it. They can directly give it to you. So it's better to get a hands-on on deep learning and 25 to 35 days are sufficient to do enough projects so that you get an overview of deep learning. You don't need to do specialization in it, for example, computer vision or NLP, but you get an idea if you are gonna work on an NLP project or computer vision project, you know, how to work on image data set, how to work on text data set. Next thing is Microsoft Excel and SQL. Excel is also necessary. Sometimes you may need to visualize a uh, data set through a tool and SQL to interact with the databases. 
and to fetch queries. And both of them can be done in 30 days. You can do these things like, uh, for example, let's say you are learning Python or machine learning. You can spend an hour on Excel and SQL to keep these things in loop. So right now, as I said that it's in four months, if you are from uh, IT background already, you can do this in short period of time, maybe two to three months. And if you're from non-IT background and you do it strategically, for example, giving enough time every day, five to six hours every day, if you are not working and if you are working, you can uh, give three to four hours every day. And you can literally do it in four months and even in a shorter period of time, because if you know the roadmap of it, if you know how to go step by step, how to how much time you need to give, you can do it easily in like three months, I, I can say that. Now let's go which platforms you must use and uh, which books to follow for these things. There are some add-ons also like cloud computing, communication skill, analytical mindset. These things are add-on. If, you, if your communication skills are not that good, I will suggest give half an hour to one hour every day on it. Cloud computing, you can skip for now, but if you want to work on it, you can go for AWS or Azure for it so that you can, if you can work on cloud, because nowadays all these machine learning things, deep learning, visualization can be done on cloud. So if you know it, your company can take benefit from it and it will increase your chances to clear the interview. Let's go to the next point. Now suggested platforms for improving these skills. For Python or let's say you want to go through R programming for these things, you can use Coursera, CloudDML we have. We don't have for R programming right now, but we can we have Python. You can use Lead Code and HackerRank and all these platforms to improve your coding skills. For analytical mindset, you can do problem solving on these platforms since and by practicing on these platforms, uh, you will get that analytical mindset to solve a particular problem. Now, Python for data analysis. Analysis, we have a, a co combination of Python course, which cover core Python also and Python for data analysis also. You can check that out on our website or in the description below. Or you can check Python courses from uh, Coursera. Now on Coursera, you won't get Python Maybe you can get a course on Python for data analysis directly, but you will you will get usually a separate course on Python, core Python and Python for data analysis. For machine learning, you can check our course. It's hands-on assignment based and project based. You will love that. Besides that, you can check Coursera courses also like machine learning by Andrew Ng. It's really good. You can check on Udemy also. I haven't done it on Udemy, so I cannot recommend. For probability and statistic, you can check our course, which is also again on hands-on learning based. On Coursera, you can check their courses or you can check out it on EDX also. Now let's go for next topics like deep learning. You can check our deep learning overview course or demystify deep learning or you can check on Coursera by Andrew Ng. It's really good. For hands-on learning, you can check our course also. For cloud computing, you can check uh, courses on Coursera and Udemy if you want to learn AWS. But if you want to learn AWS SageMaker for machine learning and uh, for data scientists, you can check our course also. For communication skills, you can check these platforms if you would like to improve your communication skills, your fluency in English. Now for an analytical mindset, you can check these platforms like India Bix, Talent Battle. You can check our YouTube playlist for uh, aptitude problems. Now next go to book section. These books, I have personally read it and it's really good. You will get benefit from it. You, you just need to spend enough time on reading these books because reading books takes a lot of patience. Sometimes we are not habitual of reading books. We prefer videos, but from a personal experience, I will say that even if you have videos, you must check these books. It's really helpful. For example, Things Tied by Alan B. Downey, Essential Math for Data Science by Hadrian Jean, Effective Pythons. I have read half of this book and it's really beautiful. It teaches you how to write code in an efficient manner, in a nice, clean way. Now, Python for Data Analysis by Wes McKinney. I have read this also. 
आई हैव लर्न नम्पाई पांडाज मेट प्लॉट लिप सी वन लाइब्रेरी फ्रॉम दिस फ्रॉम दिस बुक और हैंड्स ऑन मशीन लर्निंग विद साइकिल लर्न एंड टेंसर फ्लो बाई गरॉन इट्स बाई ओर पब्लिकेशन दिस इज अ ग्रेट बुक with practical example based using some data set like on housing on amnest so you must go through these books it's really helpful deep learning with python by manning publication is a great book for deep learning you can check their it's their latest publication book so these books are really helpful if you are a book guy you are going to enjoy this book and if once after going through you can comment below uh, how is how is these books if you have read this already do comment below how is this book so that others can also check that and they get more comfortable with going through these books so that they won't feel that it's it's wasted their time now let let's come to the quiz section what's the answer the answer is all of the all of the above because python provides great libraries to deal with data science application it's easy to use even people from non it background can easily code using it it doesn't take much time to learn the syntax is very easy in other programming languages they have curly braces they have uh, their syntax is really hard to understand and they don't have uh, much libraries to use you have to write code from scratch so python is easy of use and simple syntax it allows developer to run the code anywhere including windows mac os unix and linux so that's why answer is all of the above i hope you enjoyed this session guys please do hit like subscribe and share with others and you can comment below which things of this video you enjoyed the most and uh, if you feel that i missed something you can comment below so that i will cover that in next section thank you guys